a place to have a market. That's what critics have been saying for years about Covent Garden. It takes up 38 acres of central London, causes traffic chaos daily, and yet manages to handle 70 million pounds worth of fruit and vegetables annually. A few years ago, a fire there showed that with bad luck, the whole congested area might make the biggest bonfire modern London's ever known in time of peace. Over sidings north of King's Cross Station, a new market could be constructed as a private venture using no government money. It would be erected on stilts with a helicopter platform on the roof, and that alone a boon for London. All produce could arrive by road or rail and be quickly handled. The head of the firm that proposes the scheme, Mr. Charles Glover, says this. For this private venture, all the finance is arranged on such terms as will enable the new marketing authority to sublet the floor area to the traders, including also the provision of all the materials handling devices at a rental which is very much less than the rent which they are called upon to pay in the present market, which is so outmoded and so very congested. Flats and offices could go up on the present market area. Or will the government spend up to 20 million pounds improving it? And would the porters feel at home somewhere else? We leave them talking it over. Thank you.